Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hi again, everybody. Thanks for joining us on Celebrating Act 2. This is, of course, as you can tell, because Art and I are side by side, this is the Founders Weekly Vlog. Art, do you feel like a founder today? I feel like I've been vlogged. <laughs> uh, and you know what? This is just a, a general week of it sucks to be your own IT manager. I was going to say, you you have been a busy boy. And now, folks, if you don't know it, Art takes care of all our technology, um, including our vlogs and our all our Skype uh, interviews that we do. This beautiful blue box you have around us, that's all thanks to Art. And uh, it doesn't always go well, does it, Art? Well, first of all, my primary job is having somebody to blame. So <laughs> we blame me. I forget what we blame you for, but uh, you haven't screwed up pretty, uh, pretty much uh, in the in recent history. Probably have, but you're good at burying it. Uh, <laughs> No, so this week we use we use uh, a, a video switching software called OBS. We use Skype. Uh, we have high speed, and and some of our customers have not so high speed uh, communication networks. And um, uh, Skype is always updating, and every time they update, it's a new adventure. Will it work? Right. Uh, and then sometimes we have to back off, and then. OBS, which has been really reliable, every so often does a, does an update and everything looks great, and the things go bad. And the real story is that we, we get everything straightened out eventually, and it, it's good for the mind. I mean, I'm not uh, I'm staving off of a, a mental decline because I <laughs> jump in every so often, but I think it's a, a just a general story about. Uh, not the, the particular technology that we had to fix and overcome and different issues that we have because we use a lot of third-party software. We all do. But even just most of us, as particularly boomers, okay, right. Right. Haven't been, have to be your own IT manager, whether it's your, your phone and coordinating with iTunes if you're using Apple stuff. Or every time you get a new phone, it's like, you kind of start from almost from scratch. How you're coordinating it with, with a, a a mail program and all your contacts and your calendars, and everybody has a different combination of things. And some yeah. people, like John, John, is just doesn't want to do certain things technologically because he comes more dependent on it. You keep I a paper calendar. Text. I I so it's, admire it's that texting thing. I just can't do it. I, I so I, admire I, that I you know. keep. I don't a, have the thumbs. They don't have yeah. the thumb. I don't have the thumbs either. I use this finger. I just do oh, think, okay. think, 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 think. Okay. Like QWERTY, you know, the QWERTY typewriters? Yeah. Uh, I use about two or three of my fingers and I get most of my work done. But the, yeah. That's the point. The point is that there are so many variations. Okay. Is it a PDF? Does your phone read PDFs? Uh, just, and then when something goes wrong, particularly with your own PC or Mac, uh, who's there to fix it? Right, and so if you're blessed to have grandchildren who <laughs> you, who, you, who don't you ignore you anymore, when you say, yeah. "I got a real problem with my PC," okay, <laughs> if I don't get my son-in-law or my grandson, uh, uh, by my oldest daughter, uh, well, maybe my other son who knows something about it, but he does he does more something with some other kind of stuff, unless you have a family member. Okay, you're screwed. And uh, how many of us have uh, just taken it down to Apple or gone over to the oh, local PC boy. store? And yeah. uh, screens are always breaking on your on your tablet or your phone, and you got to be. And it's oh no, but the, now the case is bent. But we're responsible for being our own IT department to get all the stuff fixed, and that's really Art, it's, what the it's message tough. is. It's tough being a baby boomer. That's all I can say. It's right. It is tough. And and actually, even some of my grandkids, the little ones, the ones that are seven and nine, can figure this stuff out. That's why every so often, when I'm really at odds and, and my the older uh, kids are not around, 
uh, I may be speaking to one of them, oh, did you try this, Grandpa? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and 50% and of the time, they point me right in the right direction. So yeah. anyway, this has been a week of being my own IT manager on steroids for our business. Well, and, I want to... Uh, and it I, sucked. I wanna... By the way, it sucked. And I want people to say, oh... <laughs> That's oh, really sad because I know how you feel. Art. Oh, Art, you're going, you know more about this than most of us, and you are finally had a bad week. So, you know, once every year you have a bad week. You're doing fine. You're doing fine. <laughs> I, I know that, but, but this week, this wasn't a bad week. It would have had to have been a lot better to be a bad week. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, listen, you deserve a compliment because you did – pulled a trick out of the hat that mm. I'm not sure the younger generation would know would know to do. When you had troubles with, uh, with one of the programs, you went back and you solved it by going back to an earlier version of that program and reinstalling it because it used to work that way. <laughs> it used to now work. the updated version doesn't work. So screw the updated version. We're going to use the new, ver the old version. And it, you know, it, so what? It works. That's all we right. care about. But the idea that you would be smart enough to go backwards and try that, I think, was brilliant. So well, you deserve, you. My, my you deserve smart, a lot of credit. Smart and desperation are two <laughs> words that are in the same category <laughs> <laughs> in my case. But nothing, yeah. else, nothing else would work. And I went to all of the forums. I went to the forums that I don't even normally go to just for look at it. And I Googled the crap out of it. And, uh, and then I said, well, when's the last time it worked properly? And it was an older version from last yeah. October. That's what we're... So we're, we're, we're back in October of, uh, what is it? Uh, what, 21? Yeah. <laughs> well, all I can say is that the lesson here is the age-old phrase, the invention of necessity is your mother. Yes. Something yeah. like that, anyway. I don't know what it well, was. Well, I, I was going to, I'm rather than expound on that word mother right <laughs> now, I'm, I'm going to say, I'm glad this week is over. And, uh, uh, and we did do some successful recordings uh, since then. Finally. But there Finally. were two or three weeks where we just... We were we just uh, no it was clue. tough. It was and tough. and I think I think Art, the proper way to end this particular vlog is with a big I want everybody at home to join in for art. Oh, oh. oh. yeah. And that, that that's is that the oh uh, that that is translated yeah, so eat dirt and die. We don't care. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you next week, folks. With any luck. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.